everybody, it's Adele. Hey everybody, it's Michelle. Welcome to the Wind Down. And the Wind Down TV. Come, Come on, on y'all. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wind Down TV. For all our new and returning subscribers, cheers to you. Newbies hit the subscribe and notification button for all our future episodes. Now as today is the last day of the year, I want to spend some time reflecting and create a vino track for myself. What's a vino track? It's like a soundtrack, but for wine. And let me tell you, we've tasted a lot this year, but these stood out to me. So I'm gonna share with you the five wines that blew my mind in 2021. Here we go. Vito Romano Sauvignon Blanc 2018. Let me tell you, this wine is epic and balanced to perfection. When I first poured it, I was confused because it looked orange and I was like, you know, I don't really about the orange wine. I haven't found one that I love yet. Um, and so when I saw it, I looked at the bottle, I'm like, this is Sauvignon Blanc. And when I tasted it, it rendered me speechless. And anybody that knows me knows that's hard to do. My goodness, this wine was just simply amazing. It took Sauvignon Blanc for me to a whole nother level. Neri Contierno in Rosado 2018 is light in color, has strawberries on the nose. This is by far the best rosé I've had all year. And I've tried a lot of rosés, but this one takes the cake. It is sexy, it's exquisite, and it's well balanced. Cuncherelli Rosso di Beppe 2010. This wine is like an old friend. It's big with grand finesse and impeccable balance. Cuncherelli has really high standards when it comes to making wine, and you can tell in every bottle. This wine is so delicious, you'll be chewing on it for a week. If you find these videos informative and want us to make more, comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Von Hobel's 2001, this dessert wine is electric and it has more life than I do. Let me tell you, the combination of the sweetness and the acidity complement each other so well, it's like getting an uppercut to the jaw. And when you taste, get the first taste of that sweetness, before you can rationalize what just happened, here comes this bracing acidity, cutting through that sweetness like a samurai sword. It's crazy. This thing has been on my mind since I had it, and I will never forget that experience. Rounding out my top five list is the Men Tempies La Migua 2010. This is show-stopping wine. And this, I don't normally drink a lot of Mavedra. This also has some Grenache, some Senso, and some Syrah added to the blend, as well as some years to mellow it out. But this is a great bottle of wine. And you know what? To be honest, I have yet to be disappointed by anything from the Men Tempies. They are an amazing wine producer. Trust me, if you ever get the chance to try any of these wines, do it. You will not be disappointed. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for all our future episodes. And comment down below and share with us what's on your Vino track. Now also, check out our other videos on The Wine Down TV, where my girl Val and I chat about the Vino. Cheers everyone, till we drink together again.